Quilting, even the word sounds cozy. Fans of the craft tell us there has been a resurgence of interest in the skill. There is even a quilt show happening in Dallas this weekend. Your community reporter, Robbie Owens, is on your corner in your corner in Duncanville, where a member of the Ellis County Quilt Guild is teaching the next generation of quilters. Over the centuries, quilting has been a social outlet, a way for girls and women to tell their stories in stitches and a way to turn scraps of old clothes into warm covers for their families. But I don't need to tell you that times have changed. This is for my 16-year-old grandson who loves the horror genre, and it's Jason's Mask and Bloody Knife. <laughs> and it was, I couldn't get done fast enough. Okay, so not your grandmother's quilt, but crafter turned quilter Kathy Bright says textiles have also changed. They've gotten real vibrant. Um, uh, the quality is through the roof. The, the fabric you buy now will still be around in years to come, where before when they used feed sacks or old clothing, it was worn before they even started the quilt. Those quilts were about survival. This, I got it finished, is going to go in the oh, Dallas okay. Quilt Show. So um, it'll be on a special display. These are works of art. It's a creativity, I suppose, is a big thing. Debbie Ray teaches the beginning quilters class at Swanhaven Fabrics in Duncanville. The people you meet are one thing, and that's a big thing. But the creativity, because you're not only choosing a fabric, you're choosing a pattern, you're figuring out how to get it all put yeah. together so that it looks right. Uh, there's a lot of facets. With fabric acting as paintbrush. I retired and I've always wanted to take a quilting class. Former English teacher Gloria Towner wanted to learn how to make something special with her son's old football t-shirt. Well, this is the first step, learning how to quilt. So she's taking it one stitch at a time while having a great time. It makes me feel spectacular. <laughs> I mean, it's accomplishment. I mean, when you take all this fabric and like my husband says, you hack it up and sew it back together and it makes something I think beautiful. That's pretty cool. It's a little slice of Americana. In Duncanville, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.